Coming up today, we lift the bonnet on some common misconceptions plaguing electric cars. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, I'm Sarah Backhouse. On today's special episode, as a whole wave of electric cars burst onto the market, we unveil some common myths associated with them. Myth 1. EVs don't have much range, so be prepared to be stranded when you run out of electricity. Fact. The average American drives 40 miles per day and most battery electric vehicles have a range of at least double that and can be charged at any ordinary electrical outlet or publicly accessible station with a faster charge. Myth 2. Electric cars pollute just as much as gas cars. All you're doing is replacing the tailpipe with a smokestack. Fact. Electric cars create much less pollution than even the cleanest gas or diesel cars currently available. That's mostly because moving power from batteries through an electric motor to wheels is about twice as efficient as burning liquid fuel through an internal combustion engine and transmission. Myth 3. We'll bring down the grid if millions of electric vehicles plug in all at once. Fact. Almost all electric car charging will happen at home and can be accomplished overnight during off-peak hours. Most estimates suggest that our current grid can easily keep up with growing electric car charging needs for at least the next decade. Myth 4. Battery chemicals are bad for the environment and can't be recycled. Fact. According to the EPA, 99% of batteries in conventional cars are recycled. The metals in newer batteries are more valuable and recycling programs are already being developed for them. And utilities plan to use batteries for energy storage once they're no longer viable in a vehicle. Myth 5. Plug-ins are too expensive for full market penetration. Only rich people can afford to drive them. Fact. Any new technology is initially more expensive. Think PCs, cell phones and DVDs. But if there's enough demand, production volumes will go up and prices will come down, especially with the government handing out $2,500 to $7,500 tax credits for EVs and PHEVs. And that's our guide to common myths about electric cars. What other clunkers have you heard? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment on the Planet Green YouTube page and we'll see you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.